Hey, and welcome back Reclamation Roasters. My name is Jason. I am uh, the head roaster, master roaster here at Reclamation Roasters. Um, I handle the day-to-days if you don't know who I am. Uh, make sure you click the subscribe button to find out more um, about what's going on with Reclamation Roasters. But guess what? It's African season for us. And so all the new coffees are coming in from the region. Um, over there and we have made the exchange uh, we've moved from the central and south american coffees to the african coffees and so one of those coffees is the all-new um, democratic republic of congo it's an organic coffee um, a couple of things that are really important to note about this is that uh, this is coming from the north kivu region um, which there are a lot of very small farms in this region actually uh, 24 micro lots have been produced uh, and brought together a bunch of coffee for this. Uh, one thing I want to make sure that you understand about this uh, Congolese coffee is that the coffee is in short production. Uh, I won't have very much of it. So some of the things that we're tasting in this coffee as I went to uh, roasting it was a little bit of a lemon peel some pineapple and dark chocolate it's a very full body coffee uh, it roasted dark and so in the process i had to take it to that 22 23 percent processing and allow the coffee to develop its body the acidity is kind of a medium um, this is a fully washed coffee but it is turning out very dark because of the region that it's from. One of the things you want to note about the coffee is that some of the proceeds from the sale of the green coffee are going back to help women farmers in uh, the Congo. This is allowing them to uh, have healthier farms, uh, to produce finances for their family and their communities, and our source or genuine origin is helping that uh, by working with the co-ops to allow more women farmers and uh, farms owned by women to produce higher quality coffee in that region. Next we have Ethiopian, which is considered to be the birthplace of coffee. This Irgachev is absolutely beautiful in its flavor. Uh, very light roasted because that's where I noticed the strawberry and cherry notes to come out the most. And then in that process, I started noticing a sweet cake-like. So sort of like a strawberry shortcake kind of note with a lot of coffee blossom on the back end, which made it very beautiful and very floral. And so this being widely considered the birthplace of coffee you'll get a lot of coffee coming out of this region and so i chose the natural process because typically the natural process allows for a sweeter flavor in the roasting process and then last you will see a wonderful house coffee coming out of reclamation roasters um, i was able to get a blend of the tanzanian as a base the tanzanian is a very uh, healthy uh, durable roasted coffee that gives you great flavor for Africa, allows for the darkness and the richness of the soil to produce just really good coffee. It has a medium acidity. Uh, it's a natural process uh, with the Tanzanian. And then I took a little bit of the Ethiopian to bring some of the florality out of the coffee and then a little bit of the Congo to give it a, a kind of a deep and mysterious flavor. And so when you pick up the Reclamation House, um, then what's going to happen is you're going to taste like magnolia for the flow for the floral date for the sweetness and then that lemon peel that allows for the acid just to be just right in this coffee it is a medium uh, production rate of about 22 percent 23 percent in the coffee roasting process and this coffee works really good for your drip stations and is very tasty this coffee is very good when you make it at home it's strong it's a great coffee for the morning it's going to be highly caffeinated so uh, don't forget hydrate caffeinate and repeat thank you guys for joining me again i'm jason with reclamation roasters